Hey guys, Cherry here and uh, I'm back! Finally, after another month, I think. And if I do recall, I'm pretty sure the last video I said and I'll be back next Monday with a video for a show because of my wall over here. Um, well, my trusty wall is still here with all of its ideas, but I just didn't follow through with it because <laughs> Because it got- school got ridiculous again, but now that we're towards the end of the year, I, I hope it will get better. And that's why my banner it says, um, videos whenever, because honestly, sometimes, like, I say I'll do it every Monday, but then I, I think what's happening is- ooh, I just kicked the camera. I think what's happening is because I put a time on when I'm supposed to have it done, it puts a lot of- not pressure because it's not like it's the hardest thing in the world to do it's just it makes it more like i have to do it instead of i want to do it you know what i mean so like i think i'm gonna just upload whenever i can whenever i want to so the videos don't seem like forced and like i have to get them out in time and then i can upload better quality videos because i have my videos go up to 720 h hp um yeah <laughs> but because of like how long it takes to edit because I use Adobe Premiere Pro so it takes a really long time to edit and then it takes like a really really long time to get up on YouTube so I use this thing as a video compressor compressor and it takes like two minutes to upload onto YouTube but then when it gets to the 720 HP because I compressed the video the quality of the 720 isn't actually 720 and it bothers me so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit and I'm just gonna upload, like, just completely lost my train of thought. Hold on, I'm gonna edit maybe the night before or really early and start uploading in the morning so that it'll be up by nighttime. Because what would happen, like, before I got the compressor thing, it was I would upload it at like nine because I had to get all my homework done, I had to get back from hockey, blah, blah, blah. And then I would edit and upload. And it would be at 9 would be the time I uploaded, and then it wouldn't be up until like 1 in the morning. Like, that's how long it takes. Like, it takes a long time for some reason. I don't- maybe it's because my computer is slow or something. Like, I don't know, but that's just how it is. So you gotta roll with the punches. But anyway, a minute or two into the video, onto the story wall. My dad is talking in the background. I'm gonna talk over him so you can't hear him. Today's theme or not theme or video idea is story time and I say this because I actually have a lot of interesting stories if you will so I hope you enjoy them and let's get started okay so my first story is gonna be like a three-part thing because it just so happens that I've split my head open three times not once not twice with three times I've split my head open so I have a scar here here and one in the back of my head that you can't I can't find it unless like sometimes if I flip my hair over it'll naturally part there from like scars because my hair never grew back or something but um and these two scars are going away but anyway so what happened was this was the first one when I was like probably five six because it was just when we moved into this house because my brother was about to be born and we needed a bigger house and blah blah blah. So I was downstairs in the basement on my dad's spinny chair, which is the one I, uh, you see in my, in my, well actually, I, you don't see it. Never mind, that's besides the point. I was on his spinny chair and I was, like, you know how the chair's like this, right? I got on this part, I was sitting on this part of the chair and was spinning around. Who, what kind of idiot? Like, I was, I, how did that even happen? Like, how- my parents are so, like, they watch, like, everything. Like, how did I get past them to do that? So I was spinning on top of it, the chair tipped over, and I hit the baseboard on the wall. Like, you know, a little, like, fancy bit, like, this big, and has, like, it's just- it's an accessory, like, boost the houses, like, sell whatever thing. Can I just say that my room is messy and it's bothering me? I'm gonna clean it after this because, like, ooh, I can't focus. But anyways, so yeah, I fell on that, and I, like, went, like, back and knocked my head off it and uh how to cut it open so hospital <laughs> and then the second time was when my next door neighbor Eileen and Caden um they used to live there uh and they had one of their cousins over from Japan 
and he didn't speak English whatsoever. I'd communicate to him through like hand signals and like motions like pointing at things like oh here and uh, like you know like just stuff like that. So there was one time I remember we were down in their basement and <laughs> there's like okay if you walk down you walk down the stairs right and then there's like a big kind of like rectangular shaped area where there's like nothing kind of and then there's a bathroom a laundry room and a guest room um we were playing in that area because there wasn't really anything there and we were just i don't know what we were doing i remember it involved like foam swords like kind of like nerf sword type things but they weren't nerf swords they were like just like those old school so i'm a 90s kid okay um <laughs> so they were those and at one point Eileen just goes I'm leaving and gets up and like walks over and we're like no wait don't leave but then I wanted to keep playing with them because I was like a tomboy type kid like um that's another story <laughs> um I was a tomboy type of kid so we were messing around hitting each other the their cousin grabs my hand and starts spinning me around but like really really fast so I didn't know what was happening and I was like stop 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 and I forgot that he couldn't speak English at the last second I was like I put my hand up like and then like as I did that I like just I don't even remember I just slammed into the wall I, was, <laughs> I remember everything was black for a second and I just like opened my eyes and everything was like really white and I was like whoa and then I went into the bathroom because I felt something on my face I went into the bathroom blood just <laughs> blood trickling down my face. I was like, oh, so I was trying to get Eileen to come out of the guest room because she went and she locked the door. So I'm like, Eileen, 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 like, I'm bleeding, help, I'm gonna die. Oh, yeah. So I like went up, we have like a, a dugout, I think it's what's called like stairs that go into the basement. I like ran up and then onto my porch into my house. I was like, oh, and then my mom was like freaking out. Like, oh my God, we had to go to the hospital. And my dad was just like, that's what you get for being stupid. So <laughs> I think that's just kind of how he, how he deals with when, he, when he's upset. He doesn't like, he doesn't show a lot of emotion, so I guess that's just how we deal with it, but whatever. And the third time, it's just a quick stupid story, I was- we were playing hide and seek with my brother, and it was like, close your eyes and walk around trying to find them hide and seek, and we have poles, they're like, these. there's like a dining room, and then there's like a pole that's like this, kind of. So I would close my eyes, I was like, oh, I'm coming, ha 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 ha, and just whack right into a pole, so. Yeah, that was that. <laughs> Just look at my background. Ooh, it's, the, it's this thing that I put by my door. Here's another story. I had one of these when I was little. It was like this purple thing with like little purple bubbles on it, like a different shade. It was like the exact shade of like my wall. It was like, this was the actual thing. And then the, the bubbles were like in the darker lavender color, lilac and lavender or whatever. Um, it fell down once by itself. And my dad was like, if it falls again, I'm not putting it back up. My brother comes in my room and just goes, <laughs> yanks the thing out of the wall. Like they're like, Oh, one, two, three, four. There's like eight holes up there in the wall for me trying to like get this thing out. But I'm just like, ugh. But I remember we were at IKEA one day and I saw this one and I was like, oh my gosh, it's rainbow. I have to have it. So, and yeah, that's gonna be all my stories for today, guys, because this video is kind of long. So I hope you like it. If you want more stories, leave a like down below. Um, maybe I'll make this a ser series, story time. Actually, that'd be fun. I have a lot of stories. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you liked this video, leave a like down below, follow me on all my social media sites, links in the description, and this week I am going to- actually I'm not going to say it because then I'll be under pressure like I just said, so I won't say what it is, you'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think I've said everything, I always forget to say something at the end, but you know, whatever. Where do we go now? We're supposed to go eat. I made them late because I was like, hey, I'm recording a video. So, yeah, this is how much I love you guys. I make my family wait. I make them starve so I can record for you. So, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I will see you next time with a new video. Bye!